Africa's future is urban. The continent's urban population is the fastest growing globally. By 2035, every second person in Africa is likely to live in a town or city. This will total about 926 million people, or 438 million more than today. By 2030, six of the world's 41 megacities will be in Africa. With the existing trio of Cairo, Lagos and Kinshasa, joined by Johannesburg, Luanda and Dar es Salaam. Megacities have been key drivers of their country's economic performance and connected Africa to the global economy. In 2030, Lagos, Cairo and Kinshasa will each have to cater for over 20 million people, whilst the three newcomers will have crossed the 10 million mark. In addition, eight new large cities will emerge, mostly on Africa's west coast. Can Africa's urban development keep pace with such rapid and dramatic population increases? Will its urbanization in fact translate to a better life for all? It could, but slow economic structural transformation, poverty, inequality and violence are major stumbling blocks. If poorly governed, the urban transition will only compound existing problems. Africa has more urban poor than any other world region, and poverty could be urbanizing. The typical urban resident in Africa lives in a slum, lacks access to basic services, and has an informal low-wage job. Incidences of urban violence, politically or criminally motivated, are common. Riots and protests are on the rise. Unplanned, overcrowded settlements populated with marginalized youth are hotbeds for violence. Yet, rural areas are not necessarily safer than the cities. In the Democratic Republic of the Congo and Nigeria, for example, armed conflict has triggered rural-urban migration, accelerating urbanization. In the six countries that host Africa's current and emerging megacities, Rural residents seem to be more likely to fall victim to a terrorist attack than people living in urban areas. If Africa's population is to benefit from the urban transition, a few interventions are key. Urban governance and urban planning need to improve. Massive investments in infrastructure are necessary to expand service provision, particularly for the poor. Economic growth is vital. But African economies must also accelerate structural transformation to boost productivity. Connecting rural economies and urban markets is key. Productive employment opportunities are central to tackling inequality and exclusion, particularly for the young. With urbanization at the top of the global and African development agendas, there is momentum for governments and other stakeholders to steer away from ad hoc urban governance and work towards more inclusive and therefore more sustainable urban futures in Africa. The African Futures Project is a collaboration between the Institute for Security Studies and the Frederick S. Pardee Center for International Futures at the University of Denver.